all right guys welcome back to another video and now we'll be working question 9 from the june 2018 mathematics paper 2 so let's go so it says the diagram below not drawn to scale shows the relative positions of three reservoirs b f and g all on level ground the distance bf so bf is equal to 32 kilometers fg is equal to 55 kilometers angle bfg so angle bfg is equal to 103 degrees and f is on a bearing of 42 degrees from b so now part one says determine the bearing of b from f so b from f so therefore this is in relative to the north northward directions from f which should be considered right here so what we know is that this line right here would be considered 180 degrees so therefore it would be 180 degrees plus whatever angle that is right here would give us our bearing of b from f there are different ways that would actually work this question but i am looking at it from this perspective because once we draw our northern line, what we know is that from north to south, this is 180, so it's just to find what is the difference here. What we know is that an alternate angle was formed right here. So remember, alternate angle is the same as our Z angle. So our alternate angle is formed right here, which means that right here is also 42 degrees. So therefore, in order now to calculate the bearing of B from F, what we need to do is to add this 180 degrees plus this 42 degrees, and that will give us 220 degrees, and that is our bearing of B from F. Another way that you could have looked at it is, since we know that this right here is 42 degrees where an alternate angle was formed, we could have calculated the angle right here, which would have been angle on a straight line again. So it would have been 180 minus 42, and you'd have gotten 138. And then we could now calculate the total angle in this point, angle at a point which should have been equal to 360. And then we go ahead and find what the angle here and add it to 103, which would have still given us 222 degrees. So from whatever side that you take it, what we know is that in the end, our answer is 222 degrees. This one says calculate the distance BG, giving your answer to one decimal place. So we're calculating BG and we're using the cosine rule. So what we know is that BG square from the cosine rule would have been equal to 32 square plus 55 square minus two multiplied by 32 multiplied by 55 cost 103 degrees, which is the angle which is opposite the side that we are interested in. So this is the cosine rule where it's a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos the angle. So this is the cosine rule. So 32 is plus 55, they give us 4049 minus 2 multiplied by 32, 55 cos 103 will give us a negative 791.83. What we know is that a negative here multiplied by a negative will give us a positive sign. So therefore, BG square is actually equal to 4,049 plus 791.83. When we go ahead and add those now, we'll get BG square is equal to 4,840.83. So what is left now is that we square root both sides of the equation to cancel the square from this side. So what we'll have is BG is equal to the square root of 4840.83. And when you put that in your calculator, 
the square root of 4840.83 is equal to 69.6 kilometers, which is our answer into one decimal place as the question asked. So remember, again, we use the cosine rule to solve this question. So now part three asks us to calculate to the nearest degree the bearing of G from B. So the bearing of G from B. So therefore we're looking at calculating from this northern line going across to get the, going down to get the bearing of G from B. So it would be 42 degrees plus whatever degrees that is right here that would give us the bearing of G from B. So we're going to use the sine rule to solve this question, which we know that is the distance over. So we're interested in using two angles and two sides. So each angle must be opposite that which we are interested in. So what we have is 69.6 .6 kilometers divided by sine 103 degrees is equal to 55 divided by sine b which is what we're interested in right here to calculate so what we're going to do is to go ahead and make sine b the subject of the formula so it's sine 103 was divided in here so when it comes across it will be multiplying and the 69.6 .6 was here so when it comes across it will be dividing so it's like cross multiplying so sine 103 multiplied by sine b sine 103 multiplied by 55 is equal to sine b multiplied by 69.6 .6, and that is how the 69.6 .6 will be dividing so what we have is sine b is equal to sine 103 multiplied by 55 and that is divided by 69.6 .6. when we work that out sine b is 0 0.77 so when you put all of this in your calculator you'll get that to be 0 0.77 and therefore the sine inverse of 0 0.77 put that in your calculator and we'll get that to be 50.35 degrees so therefore now to get the bearing of g from b we add 42 degrees plus 50.35 and what we'll get is 92.35 and when written to one decimal place what we'll get is 92.4 degrees. So the bearing of G from B is 92 degrees. Part B now says the diagram blue not drawn to scale shows a circle with center O. It says the points A, B, C, and M are on the circumference. A, D, C, and M are all on the circumference. And the straight line C, N is a tangent to the circle at the point C and is perpendicular to D, N. And we know wherever there's a perpendicular line and 90 degrees is formed, which is indicated right here so part one says determine given a reason for your answer angle a b c so if we looked at previous questions what we know i think it was in the 2019 paper the angle identified here is angle in a semicircle so this angle a b c looking at that alone it is angle in a semicircle and what you know that angle in a semicircle is a right angle and therefore angle ACB is 90 degrees. So angle ACB is a 90 degrees. So angle ACB is 90 degrees. So therefore, what they ask us is to find angle ABC. So if we know 58 degrees, we know there's a 90 degrees. Remember that angle within, total angle within a triangle, total degrees within a triangle is 100 and 80 degrees so therefore angle abc would then be 180 minus 90 degrees plus 58 degrees and therefore that will be angle 
A, B, C, this should be angle A, B, C. Yeah. Angle A, B, C is therefore equal to 180 degrees minus 148 degrees. And therefore, when you put that in our calculator, we'll get angle A, B, C to be 32 degrees. So our angle A, B, C is 32 degrees. The two reasons that we use is angle in a semicircle, which is equal to 98 degrees. And the total angle in a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. Next, we're asked to determine given a reason for answer angle CMB. So angle CMB. So what we know is that since angle A, B, M, and C are all on the circumference of the circle, then this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So cyclic quadrilateral, which is A, B, M, C as identified. And what we know is that in a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary, meaning that they add up to 180 degrees. So angle A and M are supplementary and angle C and B are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, angle CAB, which is 58 degrees, plus angle CMB is equal to 180 degrees. And we're trying to find this angle, angle CMB. So therefore, angle CMB would then be, so we have 58 degrees, which is angle CAB right here, plus angle CMB is equal to 180 degrees. So angle CMB is equal to 180 degrees minus 58 degrees and that is equal to 122 degrees so angle cmb that they ask us for is 122 degrees so part three asks us to find angle ncm so angle N C M. So as we realize is that this is a triangle right here, which already have a 90 degrees. We just found angle C M B right here, which was 122 degrees. So we have two angles here sitting on a straight line. And what we know is that angles on a straight line adds up to 180 degrees. So immediately I can find what angle N M C is. So right angle identified, which is angle C M B. So right angle is identified, which is right here. And we also know angle CMB, which is 122 degrees. So therefore angle CMN is equal to 180 minus 122, which is 58 degrees, which is angle on a straight line. So this angle right here is 58 degrees. So since we know that we know can calculate angle NMC as this is angles in a triangle, and what we know is that angles in a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So it will be 180 degrees minus the two angles that are known, which is 90 plus 58, and that will give us 180 minus 148, and therefore angle NCM is 32 degrees. So thank you for watching and this is the end of question 9 and we'll see you in question 10.